NFL insider Adam Schefter is with us now on SportsCenter. Adam, the Texans' number one pick, what do they want to do with it? Chris, in a perfect world, the Houston Texans find a taker for the number one overall pick and deal out. They've been on the phone. They'll continue to be on the phone, maybe until they're up on the clock on Thursday night, 8 o'clock when the draft begins. But the Houston Texans, in a perfect world, would like to trade out of that spot if it's possible. That would be the plan going to Thursday night. Again, they've been on the phone. Now, the real question is, if they stay at one, would they wind up taking Jadevian Clowney? And I can tell you this, they have as much insight into Jadevian Clowney as just about any team in the league. The Texans' new strength and conditioning coach is Craig Fitzgerald, who was South Carolina's strength and conditioning coach from 2009 to 2011. The Texans' new quality control coach is Will Loing, whose father, Brad, was Jadevian Clowney's defensive line coach at South Carolina. So they have direct connections to knowing exactly what they would be getting in Jadevian Clowney if that is the direction that the Texans ultimately decide to go. Most people around the league believe that he is still the favorite for the number one pick, but there are also other people, smart people, who have not dismissed Buffalo linebacker Khalil Mack from the conversation. And in a perfect world, the Texans find that trade partner and move back in the draft and stockpile some draft choices while giving the franchise some flexibility.